Hi, this is Tracy Martin with Intech Freight Logistics, a certified Mercury Gate value added reseller integrator. Today I'm going to walk you through creating route templates from the load board in Mercury Gate. There are a few different ways to create route templates in Mercury Gate. This video will take you through the best practices for creating route templates without rates when contracted rates can be used and templates with stored manual rates if there are no contracts available. The first one we're gonna go through is creating a template from the add shipping order button without rates. Again, this would be in a situation where you have contracted rates on the lane you need to create a template for. I'm going to click on this plus button, add shipping order. Now the first thing it's going to do is pop up a box where you need to select your enterprise to create your template from. This is gonna be the customer in which you are creating the template for. In my example, we're creating a template for Intech Freight and Logistics Easy Vision Sandbox. So that is the enterprise name I'm going to select. If I needed to search for an enterprise, I simply need to begin to type in the beginning of the name of that enterprise. And once I do that, it will bring up any matches that begin with Intech. I can select my enterprise. And here you will notice, I currently at this level have a defaulted origin. Now, if I would like to remove that, I can click my X there. That will clear out my origin. So for example purposes, I'm going to search for a saved location. My first location is going to be origin Oak Harbor. So the first one that pops up for me is Oak Harbor, Ohio. Notice how I have several that begin with origin, which is why they are highlighted in blue. I've selected my saved location. I'm happy with my pickup date. I'm going to leave that as today, 3.15, and I'm gonna go ahead and leave my times as well. However, you can make those changes. Now, while we're up at this section in our add shipping order screen, you'll notice all these references on the side here. There's only one that has an orange outline. That orange outline is telling me this reference is required in order to create this template. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in my pickup reference number. Now I'm gonna scroll down and it's time for me to add my item. I only have one item. Right now I have the item defaulting to FAK for the description and ID. You can change that, um, you can add a different default, but for purposes for this video, we're gonna leave FAK. And I'm just gonna go ahead and add my quantity and my weight. As you can see, those are my two required fields. So I'm gonna enter 20 pallets and 20,000 pounds. Now I'm gonna scroll further down and here is where I'm going to need to enter my destination. So I'm going to search again. Let's try my San Antonio. I've got a few different uh, locations that are in San Antonio. I'm going to go ahead and select this test location too. And as you can see, it auto populates the information that's stored in that location. Again, my drop dates autofill here, but I could change this if I wanted to. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it at the 19th. Now, if I scroll all the way down, you can see here I've got um, all of my information sort of in a summary here. My origin, my destination, and my item. So here is where we are going to decide what we want to do. From this drop down here on the bottom right, it says create shipping order with a little drop down arrow. If I select that drop down, 
it gives me some different options here. I want to go ahead and create a template without rates. So two different ways I can do this. I can just create my template. If I don't have a load I need to create at the moment, or I could go ahead and create a template and a shipping order, which would give me the shipping order if I needed to create my load for today and a template for future loads. I'm just gonna go ahead and create template for today. So it's going to ask me to name it. I always suggest that you use some identifier in the beginning of the template name to identify which customer. So I'm just gonna say sandbox for this one. And then I'm gonna say Ohio, we'll say Oak Harbor, Ohio to San Antonio, Texas. And now I can go ahead and select create. I'm going to go to my route templates. And you can see here my sandbox, Oak Harbor, Ohio to San Antonio, Texas. So now let's say I want to use this template um, it does not have rates in it. We can see there's no carrier here, but I'm gonna go ahead and execute this template so I can show you how you would use this with contracted rates. So if I click on it, it's going to execute the template. You can see here, and I'm gonna say, create shipping order. I'm gonna go back to my load board and I'm going to select don't have a created today. So we can leave it on created this week. We can see here, this is the first one that I created today. I'm gonna to go to the shipping order side. This is my created today report from the shipping order side. So now since we have contracts for this lane, rather than storing those rates in the template, I can simply hit Assign customer rate, system, and it's going to give me all my rates here. I'm going to select my second one and say save selected rate. Now you can see I've got my customer rate on the shipping order side and my related load, my load has a carrier rate on the load side. So that is how you would want to create a template for lanes that have contracted rates and then rate your load once you create it using your template. Feel free to leave any questions in the comments or email us at tms underscore solutions at intechlogistics.com. For more information on Intech's MercuryGate partnership, visit www.intechfreight-logistics.com forward slash TMS. Please do give us a thumbs up below and subscribe to this channel to get future videos first. Thanks very much for watching.